Hi everyone, so this is a quick example on how to do Picard's method and Newton's method in Excel. So remember, these are examples of what are called fixed point methods. A fixed point method is a type of iterative method for solving a nonlinear equation. So in this example, I want to find the roots of x squared equals 4. Um, and so in Picard's method, you want know, to have x squared equals 4. Remember, you have to take that equation x squared equals 4 and you have to put it in the standard form or what's called residual form and you have to move everything over to one side so that it equals 0. So in this case, right, you're going to say x squared minus 4 equals 0 and that's what I'm going to call f of x. And then in the fixed point method, what you want to do is find something where x equals some other function g of x and the idea is that you plug your x into g of x and compute the new x and you go around and around each time. And so for Picard's method, you just add x to both sides. So you get your g of x is equal to x squared plus x minus 4. And so then you're going to take that, that g of x, use a guess to calculate something, and then update your new x. So in Excel, this is actually quite easy to do with just a copy and paste. So the very first thing I like to do is I like to put down an iteration column here. So you just put an iteration and uh, add, you know, add 0. One, you know, so you can come in here and do 0, 1, 2, okay, come down here and then just copy this thing down until you get down to some number of iterations, okay, 11 is fine. Then you make some initial guess. So I know that the answer is 2, okay, but I can make whatever guess I want. Say I guess 0. 0.5, okay, and I'm going to just delete this comment here for now because it's bugging me, it's in my way. Right, now for Picard's method, right, what you're going to do is you want to code in this formula, x squared so you do x squared, so x is in this column, so x squared, okay, plus um, x, so plus x minus 4, all right, minus 4, boom, all right. Notice that that's the same formula that I put in there, okay, this is just, uh, you know, telling me this is the formula right there, but that's the same formula I had in there before, ah, stupid thing. Um, when I'm off campus, it gives me this warning about my license expiring soon because um, it can't pick up the campus thing. Um, okay, so now what I have, this is my guess. So now what do I do? Well, what I'm going to say is that g of x, which is this for formula I put in right there, is going to equal x in the next iteration. So I just need to make that one equal to that guy right there. All right? And then I just can copy and paste this formula right down there. All right? And now these two formulas I can just copy and paste all the way down. And it's actually even easier to just drag them all the way to the bottom. Okay, and you notice this didn't change because I had the right answer there already before, all right? But notice that Picard's method for this particular example doesn't converge. And I can really quickly try different guesses if I want. I can try a guess of zero. I can try a guess of two. So I know exactly the right answer. It converges on that one, okay? Um, um, or I can guess, uh, you know, 1.99, okay? That one, it doesn't converge. How am I telling that it's not converging? Well, I look down here, and is x staying the same each time, okay? Um, if it's not staying the same each time, then it's not converging. Another way to tell is to actually plug in this x squared minus 4. So I can just put, if I wanted f of x here, and I could say this is equal to this bottom one, x squared minus 4. And when I do that, it gives me a big number, okay? If I put in 2 right there, which I know is the right answer, my residual, f of x, you know, goes to 0. But if I put in 1.999, okay, it doesn't go to zero. Isn't that kind of interesting? Picard's method is quite unstable. Super easy to get a formula for, but pretty unstable. So since Picard's method's not working, let's try Newton's method, okay? And Newton's method, we're going to try something pretty similar. Let me just delete these guys down here so we don't screw ourselves up, all right? In Newton's method, now we're going to come down here. In Newton's method, instead of just adding x to both sides to come up with g of x, Newton was a little more clever, um, as he's known to be. All right, and Newton um, used the idea of a tangent line to our function to predict where the zero is going to be. And an iterative process of that actually converges um, very often. It's a very good method. So what we have to do that's a little bit harder is we have to be able to take the derivative of that function. So we have f of x, which is x squared minus 4, and we have to take the derivative to get 2x. So f prime here is the derivative of, of 2x there. And again, this f of x is in residual form. That's very important. And then Newton's method's formula is the new x is going to be equal to old x minus f of x which, um, with the old x plugged in divided by f prime right there.
right? And again, we can plug it in. So suppose we started out here with a guess of 0.2. Now g of x is all of this thing on the right-hand side. So this is going to be x minus um, x squared minus 4. And then this quantity needs to be in parentheses divided by 2 times x, right? Which is the formula for the derivative that we got, okay? And this comment also is getting, it's bugging me, it's in my way, okay? So now I've got, um, you know, a, a new value for x, right? That just like I did with Picard's method, I just make that equal to the one above it, and then I can copy this formula right here, okay? And now I can just go ahead and copy this guy down and see what happens, okay? And notice that this one does converge. Notice I reach the value of 2 very quickly, okay? And so I can copy this guy over here, and notice that this one is now referring to this one up here, and the residual of that is really, really tiny, okay? And so if I put this over here, this iteration converges, all right? So um, that's Picard's method and Noon's method. Um, again, for Noon's method now, I can try different guesses really quickly. Um, also, I could try 0.5. It converges really well. If I try 1.999, it converges within like the first step. Noon's method's great. Of course, there is another root here. It's not just positive 2, there's a negative 2. And notice if I go over and guess minus 0.5, now it converges to the negative 2 root. If I try that on Picard's method, still no luck, still diverging. Okay? So hopefully Picard doesn't feel too bad. We're not trying to bash on him, but his method kind of stinks. All right. So that's all I got for you here on this example with Excel. Um, Hope, hope it makes sense, hope it helps you out, um, and we'll talk to you next time. Have a good one.